good morning. I don't know if you guys can see right behind me. Uh, it's really early. I'm getting ready to take a walk, but this is what my family gets to wake up to every morning. And those who know me know I'm kind of a nature boy <laughs> and I love being outside. But I just wanted to give you a little intro into the episode that you're about to watch that we shot yesterday, which was Meat on a Stick, this great little kebab place. And this place, the, the meats, the, the lettuce, the fresh lettuce, the dressings, the sauce, the pita bread, which is all made fresh there, uh, it's just incredible. And not only is the food incredible, the, the, the staff and the, the customers, the, the patrons, everyone is so nice. I, I think I sat next to someone and just struck up a conversation and talked the entire time. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, and I'm gonna let it play. I'm just gonna let it play and it'll be a little bit longer, but I enjoyed it. Uh, me and my little co-host, we had a good time. And yeah, I want you guys, hopefully you guys have a good time. So I'm gonna go grab some more footage uh, walking around that I can use uh, in a later episode. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Alrighty, bye bye now. Alrighty guys, so I told you that I had a very special surprise for you this week. Uh, we are in Stockholm, I got here yesterday. And right here is my goddaughter, Lara. So, yeah. <laughs> so right behind us, there's a little place called Meat on a Stick. And that's where we're gonna go to grab a bite to eat. And it just opened about 11 days ago. So th this is a really special trip because we're going somewhere brand new and we have a new co-host. So as soon as we get in and order our food, then we'll be right back and let you guys have a seat with us. Alrighty, see you in a bit, bye-bye. Alrighty guys, so we're in now and we are gonna have a look at this menu. Now, the menu is all in Swedish, but I've already talked to everyone in the back and I think I know what we're going to get. So, what we are going to get, we are going to get some lamb, we're gonna have some lamb and we're gonna have a little bit of falafel. We are going to try the, may we have the Stockholm? The Stockholm. Yes sir, we'll start with that. And may we also have the Jerusalem. The Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah, is that a good choice? Yeah. yeah. So that comes highly recommended. So if you guys ever travel to Sweden or Stockholm, those are the two that you should get. And just, just so you know, that shake right there, Laura's dad ordered that for us. So we're also gonna have that too. Alrighty, so as soon as the food comes, uh, we'll let you guys enjoy it with us. Alrighty, see you in a bit. Thank you, sir. <laughs> hey guys, so we just got our food and we just spoke with one of the owners, George. Um, so what we have here is we have the falafel, which I will show you guys while I'm talking in a cutaway. We have the falafel here, which is the Jerusalem. And then over here, we have the Stockholm, which is the lamb. So which one should we try first? Should we try this one first? Okay, so we're gonna try the Stockholm first. Let's see if we can dig into this. All right, would you like to try it first? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna let Miss we're gonna let Miss Laura try this one first. Right. We can take our time. We don't have anywhere else to go anyway. All right, young lady. Is it heavy? <laughs> Take a big bite. Is it good? Is it good? Here, uh, here. Okay, so she said it was really good, so now it's my turn. Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's really good, huh? <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know where this camera is right now because Sid isn't here with us today. So, if, um, if the framing is messed up, forgive me. Mmm. Should we try the other one? Okay, so now we're gonna go to the falafel. We're going to the falafel. Okay. Mm. Okay, young lady, you first. Man, it's, it's big and heavy, isn't it? Take a big, big bite. 
Did you get some? The falafel? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow. That one is a little bit spicy. It's a little bit spicy, isn't it? Ho oh, oh. ho! Spicy food gets me every time. So I'll tell you guys what. We are going to, it's gonna take us a while. We're gonna sit, and she's gonna teach me a little bit of German. <laughs> and because her English is better than mine, she's gonna teach me a little bit of German. We're gonna finish this food, <laughs> and then, and then we're gonna order some dessert, all right? So we'll see you guys in a bit. Ready, bye-bye. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Let's dig in. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we, you know what? We have come to a to an end. Uh, I'd like to thank George for allowing us to come in and shoot here tonight. We met some great people. <laughs> here, can you turn the camera over? Yeah. <laughs> we met some, we met some great people here while we were we were eating. Um, so if you guys are ever here in Stockholm, I. I would like you, for you guys all to come out and try Meat on a Stick. I had an amazing time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And uh, until next week, we'll see you later. All righty? Bye-bye now. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we've been eating for, how long have we been eating? For about five minutes or 10? Maybe 10. We've been eating for quite a while and we still have a lot to go, but I can tell you this, this food is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's my word. It is amazing. A little bit spicy, um, for me anyway, but again, if you guys are ever in Stockholm, they should come here, shouldn't they? They should come to this place. Meat on a stick, yeah? Um, okay guys, so you know how I always have a story uh, right across from me is one of my dearest and oldest friends, dear, and it's actually my wife's. Are you guys? Let's show. She's your, you guys are the oldest friends ever, aren't you? She's my son in love. You know? <laughs> yes, right. They've known each other since they were about three years old, and I met dear about twelve years ago, and this young lady came along eight years ago, and that's when I became her goddaughter. So, and I don't get to see him as much as I would like to. Um, because we're always moving, and they're always moving. But uh, yeah, one of my dearest friends ever, and I'm glad you guys got to meet him this week. So again, as soon as I 